What inspired you to want to write a food column like that? Uh, well, I, after I was drafted to the Jets, it's just something that after getting out and visiting a lot of different restaurants and seeing that you have every different type of cuisine you could ever ask for, it's just something I really had a lot of fun with and I was approached with this opportunity and I kind of ran with it. People say that you're a foodie if you love food. Have you always been a foodie? Uh, yeah, I haven't ever been as experimental as I am now. <laughs> I've tried a lot of different foods, a couple of them that I would never try again. What are, what are some of the ones that maybe just didn't sit right? Um, I tried lengua. What? It's actually, what it was a lengua taco. It's actually cow tongue. Oh. Yeah, so no, I wouldn't go there. actually a lot of them are actually pretty good, but that one, that uh, one didn't no, sit right. No, no, that's not happening again. The hot dogs everybody can appreciate, and this was one of your most recent columns. Give me some idea. Did you think about saying, hey, Mark, come out with me. I'm going to do a hot dog. I mean, because everybody thinks now Mark Sanchez and hot dogs. Yeah, I thought about it, but, you know, I asked him, I realized that he likes to have his hot dogs on game day. <laughs> so it's off season, so you know, he probably wants to stick He was good. passing on the dogs yeah, then. Yeah. What was the best one that you had? The best hot dog? Uh-huh. Katz's Deli. Okay. Katz's Deli was really delicious. Um, what about it? I mean, was it the condiments or was it just the dog itself? The condiments were really good. The dog was the best one of all of them. Yeah. The, it was, uh, it snapped when you bit into it. It was good bread. The condiments were awesome. The service was actually really great. They had a that nice helps. system. It was, it was great. N now, condiment wise, where'd you go? I mean, was this like, you know, they have Chicago dogs where it's like the relish and the onions and tomato. Where were you in your condiment selection? Uh, it was mostly relish. I, I just wanted to stick to kind of what everybody says each place did the best. Okay. And their relish was, it was definitely the best. <laughs> a couple of, I'm not going to lie, a couple of the other places I tried out were. Not so good? Pre pretty awful. So we probably gonna... don't want to mention the not uh, so good. Any, are there, like, who was the runner up to Katz's? The runner up, uh, I don't even want to mention because it was All a far right. second. It was All a right. Far wow. Wow. I think Risha was screaming before for Nathan's back there. Oh, uh, Nathan's, uh, Nathan's isn't bad, huh? Nathan's is a okay. staple. It's yeah. a staple. If all the people that are coming to the 2014 Super Bowl will go to Nathan's all eventually. Right. Now, it, we thought it was interesting that you started a food column the same time that Rex Ryan has started this weight loss challenge with some of the guys. How are they all doing with the weight loss? I think they're all doing really well, and a lot of people hear about Rex losing all this weight. But actually, the person that's in first place right now, I believe, is Chris Jenkins. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that, that's even better news. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting down. He's a slim guy. Not quite. I was going to say, is he really slim uh, he's or he's slim. slim for Chris? He's slimmer. Chris has cooked for us before on the show around Thanksgiving. He did a cooking segment. Who's the best cook on, on the team? Uh, I haven't tried everybody's food, but I'd have to say Chris. Not many of the guys can actually cook, let alone cook well. Can you? I, I dab her a little bit. I think I could do my thing. I could hold my own. All right. Uh, now, let's talk about some of these new teammates you have, too, because Santonio joined the team, Antonio Cromartie, uh, LT. You have such high expectations with some of those additions. What do you think? I know it's hard to talk about all three in one breath, but what do all three changes sort of bring to this team? Well, Santonio is great. He's, uh, he's a lot like Jericho Cotri. Uh, Santonio is a real fast guy. He's just a silent assassin. Him and Jericho both don't ever hear them say too much, but... They get the job done always. Right. And you take a guy like Cromartie, he's just extremely rangy. It seems like you, you might feel like you haven't beat a step, but he catches up so fast and arms are so long. I think he's got like a 10 foot wingspan or something. <laughs> but yeah, he's, they, they both done a really good job in OTAs and LT. I mean, his resume speaks he's for LT. itself. He's just so explosive and quick. And I think on our one on ones, he's yet to be covered. Granted, he's going against a lot of these linebackers, but he's yet to be covered so far. And I got to go back to Mark Sanchez for a minute because he went to the White House State Dinner and his date of choice was DeBrickashaw Ferguson. Is he going to take any heat for that? Uh, I'm going to let him know as soon as I get back. Him and Brick <laughs> both because I wasn't invited. Yeah. Who would you invite if you had a White House State Dinner to go to or a dinner at the White House? With Obama? Uh, I don't know if they would stay at dinner. I'd probably invite Kobe with me because it probably <laughs> turned into two on two. And that's not, I was going to. Really? Ask you, do you think, would you get in trouble if you dunked on the president? That's a, a no, because he's competitive. No, he's you competitive. Think security would grab it, their gun for no, a second. No, I about think it? you could dunk on the president. Why would? Uh, come on, I'm would you saying, hold back? Would you hold back against the president? I, I'm not saying I would dunk on you, Barack, but I could. It's a challenge. Now I want you. See, now you have to win the Super Bowl, go to the White House, and then you can take hey, him on. I'm ready. Quickly, before we let you go, 2014 Super Bowl in New York. We've talked a lot about it on the show. What do you think? An outdoor cold weather. What do you think of that? I think, I think it's great. New York is the best city in the world. It's a great opportunity. And on a more personal and selfish note, I don't have to travel very far to play in that <laughs> game. So uh, it's just great. I think 
it's a great thing for New York and Granted, I, I don't want to be on the roads during that time because traffic's already terrible <laughs> enough. But I think it's going to be great. And at that point, the Jets can be defending their fourth straight, right? Is that what it would be? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let, 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 yeah. Yeah. Dustin, thank you. Good luck with the column. We'll look for it in the New York Times. And uh, Katz's Deli. Go there for the hot dog.